David, uh, David, thank you so much for joining me uh, from Sao Paulo, uh, Brazil. Now, uh, well, business here is uh, quite, uh, I, I should say it's about stable. It's stable, a bit stable there. But uh, the truth is that uh, I've never seen such a heavy currency like this one, so expensive currency. Uh, and this is how it looks like. The largest currency is a 50 knot. Uh, that's the, it's called the 50 rise and uh, followed by others which are 20 then there's 10 and th there's also five so these are the currencies you'll expect once you change uh, of course your international dollars into reals. for those of you who are moving into sao paulo those of you are thinking of coming to sao paulo so the currency is raised so but you have to travel with your dollars don't travel with ugandan currencies <laughs> uh, you have to travel with uh, uh, your re with your dollars and when you reach this side you can be able to change them to the local currency i think the cheapest rate is at the airport i've seen the cheapest rate now I, uh, yeah I, I think it's it's, it's at the airport it's, reasonable uh, then you can move to other places also the exchange they can be able to give you a rate but uh, again also inflation in in the brazil is standing at actually 6.5 percent uh, that's the uh, rate of inflation in uh, sao paulo also brazil the entire country uh, also just to tell you uh, of the events as they transpire the country compared because i've been to south africa uh, when you come to uh, brazil things are very very expensive i've never seen such a country which is very expensive and also actually the incomes are very low because we have had uh, teachers policemen and also nurses also i, I think uh, all i mean these people have just been protesting like for the entire year because of low pay and because most of them you can just see it from the train the more, and most people use the train. The truth is that the train is 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 cheaper. And uh, for those of you who come to countries and you throw away coins here, they will be very very important uh, because the coins can help you the train. Actually, all the coins I've had, I've used them for the train, and they almost they are, they are very useful. So don't throw away the coins. For some of you get the coins and put them in the bag, they can be of very great help when you come into a country. I know uh, that is uh, to you. And again, the industry here is. Is, is majorly property, property. Properties are not actually like malls in Uganda. The property here is usually for rent, for people to live in. And that is the biggest business I'm seeing around here. It's usually uh, properties, properties. People uh, use the land actually for, uh, for rent and, 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 and the things of the like. I think that's the latest I can give you. And uh, I hope for those of you who are coming, you can enjoy your flight to Sao Paulo. And uh, that is how the economy of Sao Paulo looks like. My name is Andrew Lito, reporting for uh, Channel 44 Business, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil.